I'm not hunting us. There are things around us that we don't necessarily understand. Things could go really bad really quick. I'm actually having second thoughts about the whole thing. Imagine the scariest place on Earth, and then times that times like a hundred. I'm feeling desperate energy. I'm not liking this. Well, that's not a good sign. This is like a death trap, this hotel. She felt something pull her. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> Don't go in there. It's OK. No, it's not OK. I just got the biggest chill run down my spine. Eric, we have to take care of some business. My name is Kim Russo, and I am a psychic medium. When I was nine, I was visited by the first of many dead people who wanted to communicate with the living through me. Realizing that I couldn't ignore my abilities, I chose to embrace them. Many people are haunted by traumatic paranormal events buried in their past. Some of these people have faces you might recognize. You've heard about their paranormal experiences. Now you are about to witness the moment they take me back to the place of the haunting in the hopes of uncovering the truth. This is the haunting of Eric Balfour. We are in Mineral Wells, Texas, and we are going back to the Baker Hotel. And I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> the last time I was here was like five years ago. Um, we were shooting this movie. It was a Western. And um, we happened to be here um, right around Halloween. So what else do you do on Halloween night but sneak into an abandoned, old, supposedly haunted hotel? Imagine the scariest place on Earth. And then times that times like 100. We are two hours outside of Dallas. And I'm headed over to meet with Eric Balfour. He's best known for his role in Six Feet Under. He was in 24. And he just wrapped up a sci-fi series, very popular, called Haven. And I'm picking up as I tune into him that I feel like Eric was always able to connect with energy. He and his friends broke into this hotel. I think they got a little bit more than what they bargained for. And I'm not quite sure what Eric experienced, but I hope, I hope he didn't stir something up more. Because sometimes humans go in and they can aggravate the spirits and make them angry and pissed off. I was shooting a film in Texas in a, a very small town called Mineral Wells. There was this one massive, ominous building. And I started inquiring about what that building was. The building is actually called the Baker Hotel. Everybody came because there were these natural hot springs. As society moved towards a more sort of um, modern approach to you know, healing of ailments and disease, the healing powers of, of these natural spring waters sort of lost their, their luster, and, and the hotel eventually um, ran out of money. One night, uh, a group of us decided that, well, we were, we were, we were going to go check this place out and go in. We found a broken window on one of the lower level rooms, and were able to sneak into the hotel. And once we were there, we were all pretty freaked out. We started to ascend the stairs, 
and you know you had to be very careful walking around the place but we made it up to this floor and as one of the flashlights went up on the wall it said dead boys and we all kind of looked at each other and like Ugh. i was ready to go i'd seen enough you could feel something you know kind of like you know creeping up your back just something wasn't very nice about that space that's when things started getting strange everyone started spreading out and then one of the girls just let out this blood curdling scream and i heard like a thump and everyone sort of panicked and we you know the flashlights are moving everywhere All I saw were half of legs and feet laying on the ground and no upper body. There was a closet and her upper torso was inside of it. It was weird. It was like this hidden space. And we started to grab her to help her up and make sure she was okay because we thought maybe she'd just fallen. Oh, 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 guys, come on. But that's not how she described it at all. No, 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 you don't understand. She over and over again kept telling us that something or someone had grabbed her and pulled her. And we said, no, you probably just fell. She's like, no, I felt someone grab me and pull me. She was sure that it wasn't human. It was time to go. And we all knew it. Whatever was in there did not like us snooping around. And we needed to get out now. Guys, come on. Get me out! And then it got really hot in there. I mean, it got really hot. That was probably, honestly, the scariest part. And then it kind of hit us. It felt like the building was pressing us down these stairs and wanted us out. This, this source or this heat was chasing us. We got down quick. You know, maybe going looking for something sad and scary isn't the best idea. <laughs> maybe you're gonna find sad and scary things. I'm a little scared of the idea of going in there with somebody who could, you know, make the place come to life any more than it already had. But I don't ever want to look back and say I was afraid to try something. But I'm, I'm actually having second thoughts about the whole thing now that I think about it. Things could go really bad really quick. I'm not saying this is a mistake. I'm not saying we're making a mistake. Um, but if if it does go down that way, if this turns into like the Blair Witch Project, um, I told you so, pretty much. Uh, I did try to tune into this Baker Hotel already just to see what I'm getting myself into. And it's a mixed bag of emotions. I am feeling a lot of anger. I'm feeling desperate energy remorseful, but very dark energy. And I'm picking up on a young man that frequents this hotel in spirit. Maybe he worked at the hotel. He's calling everybody ma'am and sir, but he was, seems like a little bit of a weasel. I don't know, there's something about him I don't trust. I just feel there's a lot of secrets. Whatever this is, there's a lot of souls there that I feel need help. It makes me wonder what happened here. That has to be the hotel right there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And, and this is no joke. There's something about this hotel that I feel I have to amp up my protection today. Oh, man. I cannot even believe this. I see at one time this place was absolutely gorgeous.
grand and beautiful. But I also feel that there's a lot of souls here that that are trapped inside and they and they they're wanting help. They came here for healing. But some of them didn't make it out alive. I'm hearing a lot of cries of help. I'm seeing a lady walking. She paces back and forth. And she's looking at her watch. She's waiting for some man to come and pick her up. And I feel like my chest wants to explode. I don't know why. And that could be very dangerous for a medium when there's this amount of concentrated energy. I wonder if Eric even knows what he's in for today. That could be very dangerous for a medium when there's this amount of concentrated energy. I wonder if Eric even knows what he's in for today. Well, gentlemen, here we are. Hi. Hi, Eric. How are you? Oh, my gosh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I'm not liking this. You... Well, that's not a good sign. Well, you initiated all of this. How do you feel being back? Like, does this bring back memories? Yeah, it looks just as bad as it did then. How many stories have you heard since you've been here? I, I didn't hear any stories. Oh, OK. I well, just know if what If you I've... talk to people in the town, they all have a story about this place. I just know what I've been picking up in the car. And it's it's a lot going on. I think there's on. a lot here, too. I have I mean, to... we, we felt it last time we were here. I want to hear a little bit about it, but not just yet. Mm -hmm. There's a couple things I'm feeling about you that I started picking up already. I don't know if you're sensitive to energy. Maybe. I have a feeling you might be. And it's important for me to go ahead of myself into the energy of the structure and the person I'm going to spend the day with to see how safe I am. I think you're, I think you're going to be pretty safe with me. I got your back. I have a feeling once it falls nighttime, there's going to be a very, very crowded hotel. Well, now you're starting to scare me. What do what you uh, what do you hope to find out here today, with my help? Okay, if I'm being honest. Yeah, please, always. I find the idea of places like this telling. Oh, it's telling, all right. I think it's important to start to pay attention to those things. Well, I feel you do know things. And maybe by the end of the day, I'll help you bring those things out, if possible. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. This must be the lobby. There's energy just going all around. I just, I just feel this, this. Oh, I can't explain it to you. Well, you know, what's the, what's the saying? Better to ask forgiveness than permission. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? You're not yeah, making I'm... me feel very comfortable, to be honest. You're too, oh, okay. you're too cavalier about this. I, I called in all my spirit guides today for protection. They answer? Let me ask you a question. I, 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 you're a funny guy, but I feel like there's a lot more to you. I don't always tell people that. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I think... You ever do the Ouija board? I see you invoking spirits. I have lots of people who watch my back, too. Yeah, but I see I see a Native American Indian with you, a huge dude. Does it make sense if he were to say to me, people I helped become purified? That's my grandpa, who he is Native American out there. 
He helped people find their spiritual oneness or yeah, absolutely. their spiritual journey. Yeah. This man has some pull on the other side. Yeah. Native American ceremonies, they're, they're passed down from generation to generation. He's always got my back. Who's Linda? Linda's here. Yeah? She feels like a mother energy, older. She was my, my aunt-in-law. She just stepped forward in front of your grandpa. She was my grandpa's daughter-in-law, yeah. Well, they're standing together. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, though, I think grandpa's going to be with us all day. He'll take good care of us. All right, that's good. I feel more safe if they were with us. Because I've been feeling something very shady about this hotel. Because there's an angry young man that's been with me, and I sent him upstairs. Maybe we should go talk to him. And I don't know what's pissing him off. Well, you know, sometimes people just need to be heard. I'm going to trust your, your, your oh. gut. Look at this. I swear we are stepping back in time. Holy <laughs> Wow. <gasps> so crazy. Oh, my god. My legs are feeling numb. Come, come away from there. There's an energy that died here. I think it's that male I'm picking up on. Oh, my god. I keep hearing a buzzing sound psychically. Something happened back in the day. Don't go in there. OK. No, it's not OK. Do not go in there. I don't have a good feeling about it. Can, can I just tell you something? You have, like, a lot of energy. And ghosts feed off of our energy. Yeah, curiosity killed the cat, huh? Yeah. Eric. Eric, there's a lot of deaths that happened in this hotel. I was feeling that in the car. I'm even feeling it more now. I don't know yet, but this man, several people died. This was some kind of evil, evil energy, darkness. This is like a death trap, this hotel. This was some kind of evil, evil energy. This is like a death trap, this hotel. Right, let's head upstairs. These are the stairs we went up last time. I know it got weirder the higher we went. These walls can talk. Wow. My god. The energy has just changed at least 10 degrees from right there. Is that a bed? That's a bed. This is not a hotel room. This is something else up here. No, this I'm whole section doesn't feel like hotel room. I'm seeing people lying in cots, like sick people. Eric, feel, feel the energy. It almost smells like an infirmary. The whole mineral water thing here. The mineral water, that's right. They thought, you know, they, that was one of the things about the hotel is that it had, like, healing. I feel this is the floor that they stayed on. Oh. But I have to tell you, I'm not buying into this mineral water. That's what I'm feeling. But that doesn't make me feel any better. Well, like, you know, you come into a place like this, and I don't, I mean, I don't know anything. Is that a gynecology table? Like stirrups, where you would put your feet in? Why does it have a knob? Isn't this bizarre? Well, what is that Why table? would your feet, legs be? Wait a minute. I just picked up like tubes and drainage. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm sensing. This table has actually, I mean, there's like, this has a motor. Bet you they did colonics. I bet you that goes exactly what I just said about uh, 
about people coming here that's sick and somebody misleading them. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I'm getting a sense of very strange energy. I have to tell you, I'm not buying into this mineral water. Somebody, I think, promoted it as something that it wasn't. C-O-L-O-N-I-C -O -O irrigation. Holy. Can I just tell you? Yeah. I have a feeling that they were pumping false hope into these people. Keep them paying big money. Keep them coming back. Everything I'm seeing, this was an affluent hotel. And I keep feeling that angry young kid. I can't really ignore him because his energy is just becoming more and more strong with me. This was an affluent hotel. And he was in on some kind of... Uh, something shady with money and... He's a child, but I'll tell you one thing, Eric. He really had to grow up fast. But somehow he's pissed off. I mean, I feel like you remind him of someone. <laughs> I remind him of himself. You think? Yeah, probably. Why, were you like that? I left home when I was really young, and I had to take care of myself, and I was pretty angry about that, so... How did you take care of yourself? Any way I could. When you have to take care of yourself, you lose out on a lot of... Life? Uh, life and safety, and you never really get to get that feeling back. Most people don't do bad things because they're evil. They do bad things because they're scared. Exactly. I'll tell you, your, your story could have worked, turned out really bad, and it didn't. No. I don't think it quite woke, worked out for him. You could really be that voice for so many people that are alone and afraid. And it's just weird how we're standing in a place that people were trying to get, get healed. People here had a sense of hope that they were going to be healed. They did. You know? And I'm feeling that there was an energy here. There was a person here back in the day that they weren't pure of their heart. There's... Yeah, I think... I don't know. There's something... Somebody didn't like you saying that. <laughs> There was a person here back in the day that they weren't pure of their heart. Somebody didn't like you saying that. There's something creepy in here now. Come on. I've yet to see this place look like a hotel room. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I'm sensing that there's a lot of activity in this room. This was not used for the hotel room. I don't feel that at all. A lot of shady, shady dealings. I see men with a long table, and there's piles and piles of money. Could it have been like an apartment of a manager, or...? Manager's owner of somebody. Okay, you're putting it really nicely because I keep sensing bags of money going in and out. I'm sensing this this man in this room. He came in and out. You don't know anything about the owner of this hotel, do you? No. I I see people calling him Mr. Baker, shaking his hand. But I almost feel like people feared him as well. He made this hotel his life. What was that? 
Grab a chair. A chair. What was that? This is so bizarre because I don't know. I'm getting just. I can't really stay in this room. This is. Then we should leave this room. What is that noise? Maybe they want to find out. Mm. Someone's calling us. Do, do you think it's Mr. Baker? I have a feeling it's not going to be someone very friendly. I smell like a, uh, a lady's perfume all of a sudden. How, how are you feeling as I tell you all this? I keep, uh, I mean, like, honestly? Yeah. I keep thinking, go up. I don't know why. Um, I'm with you, because uh, this is not where it ended. No. When we were here last and whatever we experienced, that was like up almost it, on the top floor. Let's go. After you. Thank you. Famous last words. This floor looks familiar. This is the floor we were on. This is it? I think so, yeah. I think it's that room. Dead boy, dead boy. This is creepy. It says, we're here. I don't like this room. No, let's get out of here. I'm ready to leave because I just got the biggest chill run down my spine. Yeah, we can leave. Thank God you agree with me on this one. Yeah, this is the room, and then that means uh, the other room's over there. That was it? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to go in? I will. Is this where you had your experience? Mm-hmm. Okay. How you doing? Go ahead. Are you sure this is it? Yeah, yeah, this is it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Should I come in? Yeah, you can come in. Tell me a story. So we were, we came in here. And it looked like, it looked like this in here. So we came through here, and it was the one production girl. She felt something pull her through here, like, like into the closet. So we came in here. It was the one production girl. She felt something pull her through here, like, like into the closet. She panicked and freaked out, and so then we all, you know, we took off down the stairs and we left. I, I did see a woman pacing when I was standing out there, and she kept looking at her watch, and she was waiting for someone to pick her up. I do sense a woman. The story was that there was like a mistress of somebody important at the hotel, and the story goes that she was distraught or upset, and that she jumped or got pushed. Listen, we're on the same page. There's something here. There's this woman. There's uh, a man that's been following us. He's some sort of authority in this hotel. You said you felt like bad people on the other side. I don't necessarily mean he's bad, but I, I do feel he did bad things while he was alive. But I almost feel like he didn't finish the story. Like, that's all that happened? I mean, somebody thought that something did, grabbed him. What did you do? 
What did you do when the girl freaked out? What, what did everybody else feel? I told whoever was here with us, it's gonna sound, it's gonna sound ridiculous. What? I just told them it's okay. And I said, look, we're not here to hurt you. And you know, you don't need to be afraid of us. You were talking out loud to, to this, this entity? Yeah. That was the perfect move. But did you feel that it did anything? Whatever's here is still here. There's so much death that occurred here over the years. I, I, like I said, I feel there was been suicides. People died in their sleep. I see a man clenching his chest, and no one was there. He died all alone. Mm. And he keeps showing himself to me. He's with us. I think he's Mr. Baker. It's my feeling, but I can't prove it. I don't know yet. I want to talk to somebody. Is there like, uh, do, do we have the, the guy who works here? Is there a guy that can give us some information? Uh, we have a location manager here, so we can bring him in. Hey. Hey. Oh, How you doing, yes. Eric? You the f official man here? I'm the building official for the city, yes. I am picking up on so many different deaths in this hotel. That would make sense for this building. There's no, probably no end to people who have lost their life here. Wow. Was any part of the, the mineral water healing magic, is that a scam? Here's the rub, is that Yes, it did work on very low cases, but people were coming here to cure cancer, tuberculosis, and the claims were made that this water would heal you. And the benefits of it were maybe exaggerated. The claims outweighed the results a lot. Well, to me, that sounds like shady business, and I've been picking up shady energy the whole day. I'm also picking up on an angry young boy who has this slick way about him. He's young. He used to schmooze the rich people, and they used to tip him very big. Well, that would make sense, because there was an elevator operator that worked here. He was 16 years old, and he passed away getting crunched by the elevator that he ran. That's maybe why I felt my legs by the elevator. Yeah, I remember that. And what's with this lady that I keep seeing? She She's pacing back and forth, looking at her watch. She's waiting for someone to pick her up, but she never left. That is probably the mistress, uh, the famous mistress that was here. Mr. Baker took control of the hotel, and during his reign, there was a mistress that occupied this space. She hid in this room? Mm-hmm. This was where she was holed up, basically. She never left. I feel she died here. As far as we know is that she jumped. Is her name Virginia? Yes, Virginia Brown. She's here. We didn't know anything at the time, and we were still drawn to this part of the hotel. What's bugging me is I am not convinced that you were drawn into this room by a woman ghost. There was something else going on. The one that I feel is with me all day is the one that really ran this hotel. I kept feeling this tightness on my chest the whole day. Did he die in this hotel? Yes, ma'am, in, in, in the Baker Suite. You, you're the magnet. There's a reason this male presence wanted your attention. Ghosts don't just come to us or chase us or hunt us down for no reason. And I have to find out the reason. All right, so Mr. Baker's room. That's where we need to go next. Thank you for validating that. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. You ready? Whoa. There's a very different feel up here than there was downstairs. Bad juju up here. This is not, my heart's even racing faster now. I think that what we're looking for lies behind this door. I think that what we're looking for 
lies behind this door. So he's having a weird vibe. Look at this. This had to be his office. Yeah. Mr. Baker's with us. Uh, huh. Eric, we have to take care of some business. This guy's not resting. There's not a whole lot of resting in general going on in this place. This, this hotel w was intended for good, and it turned out so bad. And this Mr. Baker really, really feels responsible. You know, I have to tell you, I can't help but feel that there was there's something about you when you started talking to the ghost down in that room. He heard you talking, not Virginia. Hmm. It was not Virginia. She grabbed your friend because she's desperate to get out of there. And she just wanted to grab somebody to say, please help me. And she saw another female, and there it was. Hmm. You got more than what you bargained for. Mr. Baker came running after you guys, but it was you. You know why? Mm, not sure. Because you acknowledged him by talking, even though you didn't know who you were acknowledging. Mm -hmm. OK? You understood that what you came in contact with was a person with feelings and emotions and someone who lived at one time. Hmm. There's a lot, a lot of regrets and remorse. He has so much remorse, this man. He made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes, but you were trying to help. Yeah, I mean... But what he's telling me, and please correct me if this is not correct, that he recognized something in you where you stand for people who don't have a voice. Is that true? I'm not asking It's certainly you. the person I would want to be. OK, well, let me ask you this. Why do I keep hearing the word advocate? Are you an advocate for, mm -hmm. for a lot of different things? What are you an advocate for? Well, I mean, there's a bunch of things, I guess, that are really important to me. You were the one that he saw who could help him that day when you came here five years ago. When you walk into a room, and you can't tell me your grandfather didn't teach you this, honoring the spirits. Mm hmm And that's what you did that day. You honored the spirits that were here. And whether you know it or not, you're coming back here to honor the spirits. Hmm. Well. I, I have an idea. I like to typically light a white candle, because for me, the flame can represent the way for the spirit to go. And perhaps maybe you and I can coax Mr. Baker to leave or to say it's OK. What do you think? I think a candle would work just fine. So I want to ask Mr. Baker if he's able to hear us, if he can manipulate the flame Mr. Baker, show us a sign through the flame. You see that? Whoa. Look, look at this flame, Eric. Oh. What would you say to Mr. Baker? Nobody else is going to forgive him until he forgives himself. And every waking moment's a chance to turn it all around. There's always mercy waiting for you. And you have another chance to make it right. Look at the flame. The work here is done. I really feel your grandpa's very proud of you today. Feels better. Ah, that felt good. I think the biggest thing I learned was that it's OK to, to be open to these things. It's very cool feeling to have somebody else be able to feel the same things you're feeling. But I think uh, at the end of the day, we, we hopefully made it a little better. 
Coming to the Baker Hotel was really out of my comfort zone, but it really did turn out to be an experience that was enlightening for me and for Eric. And I hope today helped him to show others that it's okay to talk about this energy that we, we know is there, but we cannot see it. I hope that I helped give him some courage to speak to more spirits that he feels around, and maybe he can help them as he goes along his, his journey in life. <laughs>